Hey guys, I'm the Lock Picking Patrolman, and what I've got today is a challenge lock that was pinned up by Texas Jim and sent to me by Mr. Bill Bacardi. So thanks, Bill, for sending it my way, and thank you, Texas Jim, for pinning it up and sending it out into the world. Um, you guys can already see a uh, new piece of equipment to my little uh, lock picking headquarters. Um, I was able to take some Christmas money and get this vice off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. And so far, I seem to like it. Uh, seems to work fairly well. Um, but we'll see how it does. Uh, okay, you guys can see that everything works. The key works great. I believe it's a six pin lock. So the six pin key, show you the bidding on it real quick. Um, not too horrible bidding, but anyway, um, I do have to use two pry bars taped together to tension this lock. Uh, it's an LSDA cylinder and key, and the uh, top of the keyway is just kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of wallered out, so to speak. Um, my thickest pry bar won't fit in there. So, I'll just do what works. All right, there's a lot of crunching in this lock. Um, I set three and I believe five, and now I'm back up here on either either two or one. I'm starting off with the, uh, the short hook so that I can get some of these guys at least popped up to where they need to be. Uh, there's a lot of low cuts in this lock, I believe. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to my medium hook. I've picked this lock a couple times, uh, both in hand and also in the vise. Um, Learning how to pick in a vice is like learning how to pick all over again, just about. Uh, one thing I do love about it is it amplifies all the feedback that you get from a, a lock, especially a cylinder such as this or uh, something smaller for a challenge lock. But you guys can hear all that crunching that's going on in there. As I tell you, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make a video tonight or not. It's been really, really cold down here. Uh, North Carolina, where, where I'm at. Um... Woke up this morning and it was 7 degrees outside. Yesterday I got voluntold to go into work on Saturday. Uh, that's why you guys didn't see any videos yesterday. Um, but uh, when I was on my way to work, the car said in a few spots uh, it was 3 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's uh, way, way below my minimum operating threshold. Um, I do not like the cold weather. The heat's been struggling to keep up here. and The cats have been getting cranky. And right now all four of them are piled up on my bed under the blankets actually huddled together. <laughs> uh, I mean it's not not that cold in the house, but it's certainly colder than what they're used to. Um, and we're open. Cool. Awesome. Glad I got that on video. Thought I was going to have to go for like take 12 or something. Um, all right. Let's get this clip off the back here. Uh, and of course, I did not. 
now look at all the finer details of the lock before getting it open. I was just trying to get it open on video. I don't know how well these pliers are going to warp to help spread it. These are little needle nose pliers I got with my uh, um, Huck gutting kit. Make sure I keep everything in frame here. And as always, I'm trying out a new camera and lighting setup. The lighting I seem to like a little bit better. Good lord. Alright guys, since we've got a key, I am going to lock it up. You guys know I don't normally do that. Um, let's see, up to six minutes. Hopefully we'll be able to get all this done here. Alright, cool. Definitely gonna put a shim in here. All the crunching. I didn't feel anything, like I said, um, I didn't even feel anything that felt like spools in there. Just a lot, a lot, a lot of serrations. Um, let's see if we can get the shim in there. All right. And get a follower. Sorry for reaching across you guys. Um, I know you guys can tell that I'm cold here because you guys never see me wear long sleeves on camera. <laughs> so, everything's in there. Everything's working and everything needed to be picked. And already I can see everything is threaded. So let's dump these guys out. Um, wow, definitely a homemade key pin in one, two. I'm going to bet they're all homemade key pins. Um, which I know some of you eagle eyed watchers are looking at the top of my pinning board there. And in addition to the cat hair and fuzz, you can see some pins sitting up there. Uh, some of those are actually ones that I've been making since Santa Claus brought me a uh, rotary tool. All right, and I'll give you guys a close-up of all of these pins here in just a second. But yes, everything is threaded. All six chambers are and all of the uh all of the pins are homemade and have really good serrations on them uh let's see yeah i pulled the shim out all right let's get these guys out of the top here before we hit the 10 minute mark okay i was wrong uh pin one say spool or a very serrated spool. Let's see, the spring's not wanting to come out of there. I'll go through and get the springs out in a little bit. Uh, we'll just get these pins out here. Uh, two is another sharply serrated spool-ish type thing. Three is a uh, another very good homemade serrated. So it's four. Five and six. All right, let's see if we can get these springs out here real quick. Um, I'm just going to grab a pick and go in to get them instead of spending all day beating around. Okay, that was spring one.
two. These are very long, tightly coiled copper springs. Three is another copper spring that's not quite as tightly coiled. Four looks like it might be about the same. Okay, it's the same as one and two. Let me go in. Let's take that follower out. Okay, six. Oop. Does not want to get on camera. There it is. It's a tightly coiled, but it feels pretty soft. Uh, copper spring. And five is another kind of hardened copper spring. All right, uh, let's see. Anything done to the Bible? No. All the threading was done in the core. And I'll bring you guys down where you can see. All right, you can see here all the key pins are very nicely homemade serrated key pins. Uh, driver pins also all homemade. Some very, very nice sharp serrations on here. Some nice cuts. Um, actually looks similar to some of the stuff I've been experimenting with, which I'll show you one of right here. Um, you can see kind of what I've been messing with there and compare it i'm sorry i keep hitting the camera guys um but anyway uh thanks for watching um you know just remember uh don't pick any locks that don't belong to you or that are currently in use and stay warm guys <laughs> see you later